Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to LNF Football. Today, you guessed it, we're talking running backs. And guys, this class has got ballers. I don't care what anybody says. There are real studs in this class. I am very excited to share this tier list with you. And first of all, more importantly, do you love the NFL draft? If you do, welcome home. You're in the right spot. Go hit that subscribe button below. I'm going to spoon feed you these tier lists all off season long. Guys, the last thing before we get into this tier list I made, I'm going to be honest, gang, this list is going to piss some of y'all off. I got some guys really high and some guys really low. I don't care. I'm sticking to it. This is my list. I'm dying by the sword. Let's get straight into this thing. Let's quit the yip yapping. Let's go. Fellas, let's kick this tier list off right, starting at the great tier of players. In my great tier, here are the players I got. Bucky Irving out of Oregon. Trey Benson out of Florida State University. Audric Estime out of Notre Dame. And Jonathan Brooks out of UT. Hook him, baby. Out the gates, let's talk about Bucky. Bucky is everything you want in an NFL running back. He's explosive, shifty, insane contact balance. You cannot bring this man down. This guy can run outside the tackles and also lives inside the tackles. He can do it all. He's strong as shit and he has fantastic hands. Now let's shift gears to Trey Benson. Trey Benson, strong, powerful runner. He refuses to go down. And guys, this man extremely fast. I mean, he is well built, but he just takes off and separates from the line of scrimmage. I've never seen anything quite like it. He's got crazy vision and he can catch also. He's got the whole toolkit under his arsenal. If you get this guy a good old line, it is wraps. I mean, wraps for the NFL. Now let's go to our next running back in Audric Estimate at Notre Dame. This guy, different. I wrote my notes here. Just, I'm gonna read it to you straight. You ready? Doesn't fall down unless he wants to. That is the best way I can describe Estimate because this, this guy's different. He's a grown man when he runs the football. He has the best contact balance of this entire draft. He's explosive. He can hurdle guys. He's a grown man out there just hurdling dudes like it's nothing. He is a very patient running back and he will follow his blockers religiously. So if you get this guy decent online, woo wee get out the way. I do not want to be the safety coming down to the box having to make that play. Let's go to the next RB. Jonathan Brooks at a UT, the best way I can put it for you fellas. Jonathan Brooks does everything at an exceptional level. He's got good speed, good acceleration, good contact balance. He's powerful. He can catch, run routes. He can block in the backfield. He does everything, man. He's got everything on the toolkit. He's a complete package running back. These are my four running backs in the great tier. Don't get mad at me yet. The guy you're looking for is right here. Let's move on to the good tier. Fellas, this is my good tier of running backs, and we got some studs right here in this class. Let's run through these players. The man, the myth, the legend, the guy y'all been waiting on, Blake Corum out of Michigan, Marshawn Lloyd out of Southern Cal, and Ray Davis out of Kentucky. Let me break these down for you. Marshawn Lloyd out of USC. Fellas, this guy, blazing speed and acceleration. I mean, he just takes off on a dime. He can catch well, runs pretty good routes, he's strong. I think his frame and size too will translate well into the NFL. Blake Corum out of Michigan, let's break his game down, and guys, do I even have to? He had one hell of a season. This guy has got true talent. He lit it up this year. This guy is a very good all-around player. He's going to do well in the NFL and find a good team to run the ball behind. Last in the good tier, Ray Davis. Fast, powerful. I think he had like a record 100 and something broken tackles last year. This guy's got a very deep bag when it comes to the juke game. He is shifty. He's patient behind his blockers. And I think his game's going to translate extremely well into the NFL. Now, this was my good tier with a lot of sub players. Now, let's go into the next tier on my list. In my running back solid tier. Let's break this list down. Dylan Johnson out of Washington. Jahar Jordan out of Louisville. Rasheen Ali out of Marshall. Braylon Allen out of Wisconsin. Dylan Labe out of New Hampshire. Cody Schrader out of Missouri. And Will Shipley out of Clemson. This tier has talent all across the board. Let me break it down for you guys. Let's go one by one to each player. Starting this off first, Dylan Johnson out of Washington. This guy's X Factors. He runs the ball fast and he runs extremely hard. He puts the helmet down and goes to work. He's a pretty patient runner and he also runs good routes. Next, we got Jahar Jordan. And guys, all I'm going to say here, this guy is insanely fast. I mean, blazing speed like I've never seen before. He's out of Louisville and he just takes off when he gets the ball and nobody can catch him. No angle, nothing. You're not catching this guy and that is his superpower. Next we got Rasheen Ali out of Marshall. This guy made Bruce Feldman's freak list in 2022 where he was ranked 96. He wrote this. Ali stands six foot. He's 211 pounds and he's a vertical of 36 inches. Broad jump 10 feet. He could power clean 335. Dear God, let me repeat that. Power cleans 335. 
35. That's a lot of weight, and he can also squat 500 pounds. That alone, he's a freak of nature, and he's a very good running back. He's also killing it at the senior bowl. We're about to watch his draft stock fly to the ceiling. Good stuff here for Rasheen Ali. Next year, we got Braylon Allen. Imagine King Henry. Just take the speed off a little bit, okay? That's Braylon Allen. This dude is a thumper. Like he, he does not go down. He's extremely strong and has very good vision. He's like the definition of a one-two punch in the NFL. Put this guy behind your speedster and get him on the goal line. The ball's going in. He's going to stretch it across the plane. He's probably just running at himself. He's not getting takedown. It's a guaranteed touchdown if you get this guy on the goal line. Now, here's a little change up. Dylan Labe out of New Hampshire. Have you heard of him? Didn't think so. Maybe you did. This stud out of New Hampshire has been lighting it up at the Senior Bowl. He had a killer season. While Dylan did go to a smaller school, he has exceptional ability, and therefore he just cooked his entire conference. His greatest two attributes is he is a great route runner. I mean, he can make guys miss. His only question in mind, which is why the combine is important, does he have that top speed for the NFL? We don't know. We'll find that out soon. But all I can say is he's been lighting it up at the Senior Bowl. Things are looking great. I thought he's the best running back receiving wise at that entire thing. Good for him. NFL possibility here is real for Dylan Labe. Cody Schrader out of Missouri led the entire SEC in rushing yards in 2023. For that stat alone, you're finding yourself in one of these tier lists, especially in the solid tier list. This guy's got true talent. His main X factor is his acceleration button. He doesn't have quite the NFL top speed, but man, he gets there super quick. He had a great O-line and he would just hit 0-60 to 60 as fast as he could, and that is exactly how he tore up the SEC. Last but not least, because this list is not in any order, Will Shipley out of Clemson. This guy is a dual threat running back. He can receive the ball and he can also run it between the tackles. Not many guys have that unique combo. He runs good routes. He can catch the ball. He's not afraid to get scrappy. I like Will Shipley a lot. This is my good tier of players. For this final tier of running backs, these guys have a ton of potential and I think they're going to find themselves on a roster by the beginning of this season. In our final tier, we have Frank Gore Jr. out of Southern Missouri, Jace McClellan out of Alabama, Jalen Wright out of Tennessee, and Dejon Edwards out of Georgia. Now let's go through these guys' X factors. Frank has a ton of versatility. I think he can play in the slot if he wants to. He's got plenty of speed, good hands, and he runs good routes. Jace McClellan out of Alabama, man, he runs the ball hard, and he makes that first guy miss pretty consistently. If he finds himself behind a good old line, I see good things for Jace. Jalen Wright out of Tennessee has got good vision and good patience. And last, Dejon Edwards has great hands, and he runs the ball extremely hard. Guys, what did you think of my running back tier list? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments. I take no offense. Tell me. I'm a grown man. Did you like this video? If you did, please drop a like. If you enjoyed this video, we are brand new to YouTube, so please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys more than you know. Have a great day. Peace. Well, hello there. How, how you doing? I just, I'm finishing recording. It's Sunday night. It's the 4th. And I pulled up my phone, and do you see this? Wait for this to focus. Not on my face. Look at this. Stupid. Are you kidding me? When I posted the last video, I had 90 subs. Stupid. Thank you guys. Seriously, this is ridiculous. I mean, beyond blessed. So many nice comments too. Uh, it's great to hear. Making videos for two years with me and Brandon, my boy. We're on the hard count. Tag that right here in the corner. Thank you. That, that's really all I can say. Beyond blessed. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I mean, thank you guys. Um, excited to release this one. This one will be out in about an hour. So I guess it'll be out on the 5th. But thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Seriously. Love you guys. Y'all the best. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Thank you, guys. You're the best. Peace.